Leaving the Carlisle. After the Carlisle, where they're holding hands for the first time, and those were lost in Harris's hands, you go to this scene, which is him uh, riding home, getting a feel for the wonderment of life and being with these privileged people who And they're are talking about how, you know, they should go get lost in Harris to sing at the aunt's wedding. And he's just feeling like this is the world that he wants to be part of. These, 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 these show folk. These show folk, as he refers to them. And it, we only got the tickets tonight because our agent is friends with his agent. Somehow, some way, you'll look. This couple on the side of the street, he notices them. They're kind of dancing, kind of dancing they sort together. of cross, and then all of a sudden, all it's of a like sudden you see a little bit more dancing. I know the and now suddenly all of seven, the 72nd Street subway station is dancing. It was all done by Pat Birch. It was all it was choreographed by Pat Birch, who is a big movie uh, choreographer, and she put this all together and did it relatively quickly. We had, I think, 36 or so dancers or something like that. And it was a relatively small scene that was going to fit between them holding hands for the first time and kissing for the first time. And when we put it all together, we realized that emotionally you are on such a high just from holding hands that you want to go to the kissing scene. And this is. You just wanted to stay with the kids. It became a very solitary moment for him as opposed to this. But it, it, it did. And it became kind of emotionally redundant. The soaring quality of that dance were already in his heart just from holding her hand. 